Okay, Sawyer, I'm seeing a lot of really good things. Um, one area for improvement that I wanted to talk about, and again, seeing you've really come a long way, watching how, as okay, you sink into back hip load, but see how you really get on that back leg, right? I'm watching this here. I like sinking into hip load there, but really feel of, of you know yourself getting forward off of your back leg. You can, as you watch your back leg there, you can really see how it's kind of turning out this way. And you're more into your back leg than into your hip. And as a result, you get a little bit more rotational than hip drive. If you watch your front foot, you actually see it start to go a little bit backwards as you get into the ground. And as it's coming down backwards, see your back knee as this comes backwards, See how your back knee starts to come in just a little bit there. And that gets us just a little bit more rotational than linear. And you see how we get a little bit of an around type of action. Now, a lot of good things are at our contact point. But the big thing, and this is why I have the Corey Seeger one up next to you, is as you feel yourself getting into hip load there, like start getting this going forward instead of going backwards. As you get more into your back leg and you get, you don't get a real efficient weight shift. You can really see, again, I'm watching right here, how you really get into that back leg there. And then as a result, see how you're really stacked up over your back foot? That leads to while your front foot comes down a little bit backwards, See how far forward your front foot is and see how it's getting into the ground, how it's going back. And you get a little bit more rotational rather than getting that linear drive, which gets you a little bit around. Now, as we watch Seeger over here, I wish they would have cut sooner. They cut right there. But you can really see how he's getting the weight off of that back leg forward. And as he gets into the ground, as he gets heel in, you can see as he gets his heel in, it's much more of this type of driving action rather than rotational action. So as we go toe, let's back this up, to toe there, you can see how he's got more weight off of his back leg. Then as we go toe to heel with you, you can see how it's a little, it's a little bit more rotational. I like the way that your hands are still back. I think you've got your weight a little bit forward here. I'd like to see you a little bit more stacked up. And you can compare that to Seeger, who gets more of that hip drive, and he's a little bit more stacked upright there. And that just allows more of a length through the ball as opposed to just a little bit more around. So to review, as you get into your hip load, start feeling that weight get off your back leg. Feel everything in your hip rather than in your thigh here. Because again, you can watch Seeger, it cuts to right here, how he's driving, 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 heel down, more drive before he starts to turn. You really get into that back leg there See how much your knee is stacked up over your back foot. Then as our foot comes down, see how it's coming down backwards because we have so much weight on our back leg. And we just get a little bit more rotational around. Whereas Seeger gets more of a straight drive through the ball.